Steve, one of those missing crew members is Dylan Mecklin, and he is from the Rockland area. His aunt has just arrived here at tonight's vigil. She was at a vigil last night in Rockland, and she says the community support from all over Maine means so much to the family right now. She's spoken with the family who's in Florida waiting for Dylan, and she says that they too appreciate all the support pouring in from all over the country. Uh, the vigil tonight here is for all of the crew members, of course, of the El Faro, including four who are from Maine, and they include Captain Michael Davidson, who graduated from the Maine Maritime Academy here in 1988. Michael Holland graduated in 2012. Daniel Randolph was a member of, or is a member of the class of 2005, and Dylan Mecklen graduated just this past year. All four were on the cargo ship when it sank near the Bahamas during Hurricane Joaquin last week. Maine Maritime students say they are holding out hope as the Coast Guard continues the search for survivors. We're all so tight and so close knit here, and we really care about each other, regardless of major, regardless of class. I mean, when we say Mariners forever all the time, and that is truly what it means. This could have been any of us. I mean, I think that was some of the thoughts that were going through campus for the students. Um, it's, it's a real feeling, you know, in five years, 10 years, 15 years, we're going to be graduated out there in the industry sailing these ships. I mean, we don't know, you know, what could happen. Organizers have started to set up for the vigil, which begins here at 6.30. They've set out chairs and also boxes of tissue around the courtyard uh, for the many people expected here tonight. We're thinking of the crew members of El Faro, and many of the students here say they are still holding out hope. The president of the school says that counselors are available throughout this time. He realizes that it is a difficult time for the community here in Castine. There's also a vigil being held right now in Livermore Falls. It's just meant one of the many ways that people are reaching out during this time. For now, we're live in Castine, Courtney Sturgeon, WMTW News 8.